How long before I see the results of rhinoplasty surgery? When will I see the results from rhinoplasty? Seeing the results from rhinoplasty may vary from patient to patient. Some patients see results immediately, and others it takes more time depending upon the original goals of the surgery. For example, if you have a bump on your nose and you wanted it reshaped, then you'll see results from surgery immediately, uh, as the nasal tape is removed usually about day six. However, if you have thicker skin and your primary concern is reshaping that nasal tip when you have thicker skin, the results are not typically apparent early. This is because of the swelling from surgery combined with thicker skin simply require more time to see the results. While steroids and other medications may be used to speed up the process, it simply takes time. Patience. Final results from rhinoplasty can take one to two years to show some of the fine details and full results. That being said, most rhinoplasty patients who have realistic expectations are pleased with the outcome from the rhinoplasty within the first few weeks, certainly early months following surgery. How long does it take to recover from rhinoplasty? How long does it take to recover from a nose job? Rhinoplasty surgery recovery today is pretty incredible compared to what it was when I started performing these back in the 1990s. Back then, rhinoplasty was performed under general anesthesia where patients were intubated. That means a breathing tube was placed down your throat during the surgery. Uh, the, the machine would be breathing for you. You'd receive general anesthetic agents for a three, four, five hour operation. We used to pack the nose at the completion of the rhinoplasty and get this, six feet of gauze in each side of the nose. That's one half inch by 72 inch packing shoved in each side of your nose, 12 feet total. Of course, when it was placed, you're asleep and unaware. But three days later, when it needed to be removed, ow, it hurt, it smelled, it was filled with blood and mucus. It's quite gross, frankly. But that's how it used to be done. Incredibly, some still do this. The last nose that I packed was in 1997, often longer ago than many of our rhinoplasty patients. That is their birth year. When we have seminars, I would ask, how many people have had rhinoplasty and, and a few hands would go up and I'd say, tell me about it. One of the first things that you would hear is, oh, that packing, okay? It was memorable. Anyway, no packing. This is uh, why it's so important because significantly easy recovery is associated with not using nasal packing. In fact, today, there are several differences with how we perform rhinoplasty. First of all, we use IV sedation so that recovery is easier without the risks of nausea and vomiting associated with general anesthesia. And of course, as already mentioned, there isn't any packing to remove. Patients do remarkably well. They're up and active the next day, minimal bruising and swelling versus what we saw historically with older techniques. This all makes the recovery so much easier overall. Patients may or may not use any pain medication, perhaps only Tylenol the first night, maybe half a pain pill. The tape and splint that we put over the nose is typically removed about day five, six, or seven, and most normal activities are resumed. 